Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our Gregory lawnmower and in today's video we're going to walk you through the steps on how to properly prepare your Gravely lawnmower for short-term storage. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, outside the garage now, and we are referencing our Gravely Pro Turn ZX60 lawnmower. It's a zero turn, and again, in this video, we're gonna walk you through the simple steps that will help you prepare your lawnmower for short-term storage, meaning a few weeks or a month. And your owner's manual has this mapped out pretty well. As you can see here, short-term storage, never wash unit with high pressure water or store outdoors. Those are easy steps to follow. And additional steps, step one, allow unit to cool and clean with mild soap and water and I'm obviously not going to clean it in the garage. Probably the best place to do it is out in the driveway or in the yard itself. And after washing it, I recommend letting it sit out in the sun for a couple hours and dry off. And after that, step two advises you to tighten all hardware to correct specifications. And what I recommend is look at every single bolt and nut and verify all bolts and nuts are solidly secured. And there's bolts and nuts all over this lawnmower, the mower deck underneath where the blades are. And again, just make sure nothing is loose and go bolt to bolt, nut to nut. And as you do this, again, you wanna make sure your entire lawnmower is in the full off position. And it might be a really good idea to make sure it's off for a minimum of three hours to allow your engine to cool off. Because as you're checking all the nuts and bolts, the last thing you wanna do is burn yourself. That would not be good. And again, bolts and nuts everywhere. Just check everything. Right here is your access panel to your pulleys and belts and it rests in place and inspect all your belts, your pulleys, your springs, make sure everything is tight. And it's also a good time to inspect your belt, any wear or frays on your belt or dry rotting. Well, that's a clear indication that it's only a matter of time that those belts are gonna fail. So you might as well purchase new belts and get those installed. Back to the cover panel, just by pulling up, carefully lower it down. And again, just do a complete walk around Verify all bolts and nuts are secure. Back to the manual. Step three, inspect unit for visible signs of wear or damage. Repair as needed. Step four, prepare fuel system for storage. Let's talk about step three first. It's a really good time as you're checking those nuts and bolts in step two to make sure everything is secured. As you're walking around your lawnmower, also be looking for any signs of wear or tear. And we just talked about the internal belts that wrap around your pulley and drive your lower blades. However, there's a lot more moving parts to your lawnmower that can wear out over the years. And as you prepare for short-term storage, do your best to try to find any signs of wear and tear that can be easily addressed before you put it into storage. Come back to the engine, verify no buildup of leaves, no buildup of grass inside your engine compartment. That could lead to fires if it hits any hot portion of your engine. You definitely don't want that. Go ahead and open up your air filter case by undoing these locking clips and shift this cap off and check the cleanliness of your air filter. And keep in mind, if you haven't replaced it in a year or two, it's a really good time to replace it during storage. And also, believe it or not, every now and then, leaves and grass get caught up in this air filter area or air filter casing, and you wanna get all of that out of there. Might even be a good idea to take that filter out and use a shop vac to clean this entire inner portion of the case. After that, just go ahead and re-secure the locking clips. And continue to walk around again. Just make sure nothing is showing any signs of damage. Check underneath the mower. Make sure nothing is leaking. And as you're under there, it's also a good idea to remove any clumps of grass or leaves or weeds or whatever's in there. Again, just keep your lawnmower as clean as possible. I am a firm believer the cleaner you keep your lawnmower or any equipment, snowblower, whatever, over the years, the longer your equipment will last. And the last thing they talked about is step four, which is your fuel. You need to stabilize your fuel because over time, fuel degrades itself and becomes contaminated. And that leads to lack of engine performance when the engine is running, leading you to believe something's wrong with the engine when really nothing is wrong with the engine. It's just the fuel has gone bad. So in the event that you need to add some additive, definitely add stabilizer to your fuel. However, we do not because we use ethanol-free recreational fuel. And I highly recommend always using recreational non-ethanol fuel for your lawnmowers and your snowblowers for several reasons. Number one, it is going to be able to sit in inside your tank for a very long period of time without degrading or contaminating itself. In addition, recreational fuel is never going to gunk up any portion of your engine, nor your fuel filter, your fuel lines. It is a clean, burning, efficient fuel. Now it is a little more expensive than regular gas. However, you get what you pay for. There is a lot of advantages and benefits to that recreational fuel. And again, I recommend it. So that's it, YouTubers. The last thing they mention in the operator's manual is, after adding the stabilizer, run the engine outdoors for at least five minutes to allow stabilizer to reach the carburetor. And again, we are not going to do that because we use recreational fuel. So that alleviates that step for us. Next, turn key to off position and remove 
from ignition and store unit in a cool, dry, protected area. Do not store unit outdoors. Head over to the key on the side control panel here. Go ahead and check this whole panel while you're here. PTO button is pushed all the way down. Your thrust lever is shifted to the full slow or turtle position. Your choke control is pushed all the way down and closed. And your key is in the off position. It has three settings, off, run, and start. Make sure it's in the off position. Pull your key out and we'll put that in a safe location. One last recommendation I have is always store your lawnmower in the transport mode. And if you're unfamiliar with the steps on how to prepare your lawnmower for transport mode, I have a video scrolling above that's going to run you through those simple steps. Definitely check that out again. Configure your lawnmower for transport mode. So that's it, YouTubers. Again, simple steps to take to prepare your mower for short-term storage and prolong the life of your lawnmower. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful and awesome to us.